The most anticipated match of the ODI World Cup is just a day away. Two-time champions India take on arch-rivals and 1992 World Cup winners Pakistan for the first time on home soil in seven years. And there is a big boost for the men in blue as well as Shubman Gill, who has been recovering from Dengue, has joined the team in Ahmedabad. The 24-year-old opener has been a vital cog in the wheel for India. Gill is the current leading run scorer in the ODIs this year, amassing over 1,200 runs at an average of 72.35 and a strike rate of over 100. Ishan Kishan replaced Gill in the first two matches and if fit, Gill will be back in the playing 11. But even without Gill, the men in blue have been firing in all cylinders. India defeated Australia by six wickets and then put on a show in Delhi by thrashing Afghanistan on Wednesday. Skipper Rohit Sharma was the star of that match. He became the only batter to score seven ODI World Cup centuries. And it's not just India here though. Pakistan too are carrying some serious momentum to the marquee clash. They have also made it two wins out of two and chased down a World Cup record total of 344 against Sri Lanka on Tuesday. Mohammad Rizwan was the architect of that chase and he remained unbeaten on 131. The wicketkeeper, batter, has been enjoying the form of his life and is Pakistan's top run scorer this year. The Narendra Modi Stadium is expected to be jam-packed for the clash between India and Pakistan and India have always come out on top against their neighbours in the World Cup. The, ne the men in blue have a blemish-free record and have defeated Pakistan in all of their seven meetings. Now, both the teams have seen centurions uh, in the World Cup this year. We've seen Rohit Sharma with his century uh, right. in the last game that he yep. played. Then also Abdullah Shafiq and uh, Mohammad Rizwan with their centuries in Pakistan's outings. Mm. Um, are these the players that both the teams are banking on for this all-important clash as well? Or there are there some other hidden gems that we can get to see? <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of little hidden gems yeah. there, I think. But the ones that you mentioned are the ones currently in the top of their form. So uh, you would expect, you know, that when you get into form, you, you need to string a few together. Because, as I said earlier, one thing I'll guarantee every batsman is failure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's how you respond to failure and it's how you um, manage the day it's your day. When it's your day, and that was the case with all these centurions, that's my day to ensure that you go and get a three figures. Mm -hmm. And a big three figures, not just, you know, a hundred and, and then get out. Which, uh, which has happened to Decock a couple of mm -hmm. times, but wonderful effort. I'm not having a go. Getting 100 is a, is a wonderful uh, milestone. Mm -hmm. So, yet those guys that you mentioned <laughs> are on top of their game, but they're, everyone else, you know, will have a, a, a duty for their team to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, the captain of Pakistan mm -hmm. is under a little bit of pressure. He yeah. needs to, you know, step up. But mm -hmm. people will argue. Hey, we don't need him to score runs. We can win a game. We can chase 340-odd without him, you know.